be staying. Go on. People are talking. You gotta stop these run-ins with Lenore. You do not want people pointing fingers. Oh, come on, Black. She waltzes in here, and any time she sees me, she loses it. What am I supposed to do? I work here. I have to be able to stand up for myself. I know. But no matter what's going on with you and Ramsey, she's still the big man's wife. Calm it down. At least for the foreseeable. Only bad things will come of it if you don't. Is that a threat? No, Atkins. It's just some friendly advice. Doctor, all memory recordings of Rose Atkins have been accessed and reviewed. Would you like me to prepare a simulation for you to explore? Just give me a second, Hope. Okay. Let's find out just how involved she was. We all stood to benefit from this. We all agreed. And we all will benefit. The original plan was there for a reason. Relax, Black. Just as good at what he does. You don't give him enough credit. I told you to keep an eye on him. I told you to manage this. It's better this way, Black, don't you see? Ramsey doesn't care about Lenore. He cares about me. It's far more effective to get the girl, and it's the same outcome either way. No, not the same outcome, Atkins. The plan was to break him, not provoke him. Grace? I could live in any clear room. Get Lenore on side. Bring her in peacefully. No one gets hurt, I said. And do not let that idiot Jasper near any form of explosive. He doesn't know what he's doing. He seems to know a lot about bombs to me. You don't know bombs, Atkins, and you don't know him. But I know both, and I can tell you this with absolute fucking certainty. He has put the lives of anyone near that bomb in danger, his own men included. That bomb goes off, we're all fucked. Are you able to detect Grace's presence in this memory? Negative, Doctor. What on earth is happening here? Have you got the girl? We brought her in, yeah. And the ransom demand? Not yet. We'll send it in the morning. Then it's not too late. Don't get any ideas. You can't do anything to stop this black, so don't even try. Listen very carefully. You're gonna tell me where he's keeping her, or I'm gonna kill you. Do you understand? Don't be ridiculous. Tell me, or I kill you. The one glimmer of hope in all this, my savior. He wasn't even trying to save me. He was trying to save himself. So. Oh. Is it possible that. Is what possible, Doctor? Never mind.
How dare you? You didn't do this for your family. You did it for yourself. You want to know the role your family, your mother, played in all this? An excuse. An excuse for just another one of your obsessions. Another playback malfunction, Dr. Ramsey. Recommend abandoning review until emotional stability returns. I am perfectly stable. Just bring me back out. I left this behind for you, you know. Setting up my own studio, taking on commissions. I left it all behind to be your wife. And for what? <sighs> We were an inconvenience to you, Grace and I. It's not just that you neglected us. It's that you didn't even want us there in the first place. Having difficulty locating you, Dr. Ramsey, you may have to find your own way out. No, I honestly don't. I don't know what any of this was about, but if it was all about Rose, go and be with Rose. If it was all about your precious Pandora, go and be with your work. Do whatever you want. But I won't be part of it. Not anymore. You're right. I don't care about the implications of your work, Robert. I've never cared. And changing the world means nothing to me if I can't have my family. long to realize that you were never going to have the decency to leave me. You know what I've come to understand? For all your genius and passion, for all your talk of changing the world, you're a coward. You're just a coward. Emotional stability is required in order to proceed safely. Let's load up the third bookmark, can we hope? Did you hear me, Dr. Ramsey? I said I recommend abandoning... I heard you! I heard you. Please, just load the third bookmark. Yes, Doctor. Loading. Please note, as with the second bookmark, Memory geography is likely to be fragmented, and combat is a strong possibility. Thank you, Hope. This is Black's meeting with Howard, correct? Confirmed. You tagged this memory with reference to both Black and Howard, Dr. Ramsey. Final piece of the puzzle, it seems. 
I envy no man, Black. If someone has something I want, I take it for myself. Hey, shh. It's okay. I'm a friend. I'm here to help. Talk. Good. I'm gonna see him now. You still on board? Oh, I don't know for sure, no. But I've got a pretty good idea. Yeah, well, if that's the case, it's been a pleasure knowing you. I don't know. Call it instinct. Speak later. Hmm. Memory glitch is becoming more well, and more frequent. I'd say my greatest strength is probably my determination. Because I'll work harder than anyone else. If something needs doing, I will do whatever it takes to get it done. Damn you, Rose. Damn you to hell. This could all have been avoided if I just listened to Lenore. Fredo is black. Alive for now. Yeah, maybe some other time, right? Listen, I might have some work to throw you away if you're interested. Pays good. Situation is delicate, though, you understand? You're not gonna be allowed to improvise on this one. Yeah? Sure. I'll call you more details if it's a goer. Not again. This has to stop. But I got you a present. It's a notebook for all your brilliant ideas that will change the world. So you never forget. Oh, Lenore. What have I done? Grace? My dear Grace, I wish I could explain everything to you, to help you understand. Radiation, which is energy that's emitted from an object, right? <laughs> you make a really good teacher, you know that. I will find out who is responsible for this, Grace. Whatever it takes. I promise. 
Thanks, Dad. Sweet dreams. So what's the deal? You got the money. Here. It's a genuine meeting. He's got some plan he thinks you can help out with. Ask me if I thought it was crazy getting you involved. And do you? I think you're a man that can be trusted. I suppose we'll find out. Thanks. Dr. Ramsey, you've gone completely off-grid this time. Are you safe? I'm safe. Just pull me back out. Searching for you now. Concentrate on the memory you wish to return to. Focus on Howard, Dr. Ramsey. See if you can locate him. There you are. Remember, Dr. Ramsey. And focus on the memory you wish to explore. I cannot pull you out of this one alone. Focus and find a way back, Dr. Ramsey. Howard. Mr. Black. Been a while. Last time we saw each other would have been... Let me see. When I stole the corner gun. Ah, yes. When you stole my corner gun for Robert Ramsey. Really, I should just have killed you on the spot. I'd feel so much better about everything. I've seen this. Then why don't you? You were so exquisite. So flawless in the way you ruined me and my company. I wanted to even the playing field a little. Do something similar to Ramsay. And I racked my brains and I just couldn't think of who would be the best man for the job. Then it occurred to me. Me? I'm Ramsay's head of security. Why would I work for you? I don't understand. How can this be the truth? Every man has his price, Black. Especially you. I'm paid well. Yes, but not as well as you'd like to be. Not as well as you could be. It's not about the money. <laughs> that old chestnut. Okay, fine. Then how about this? According to my sources, Ramsey has a surprisingly accurate record of your criminal history, far more so than the police. Seems to me he's got you over a bit of a barrel. Work for him or go to prison. The way I see it, Mr. Black. You're his 
bitch. You sound jealous. I never saw it like that. He was my employee. I envy no man, Black. If someone has something I want, I take it for myself. So here's my offer, and I'll only make it once. You work for me, not Ramsay. I devise a plan to get Ramsay's Pandora device, and you carry it out. You name your price, within reason, and if you're successful, I'll forget about the whole corner gun fiasco, and we'll both be on our merry way. How does that sound? If I refuse... You're alive because you're useful, Black. Don't get any ideas. No. This never made any sense. Excuse me. I said no. I'm not sure I've been clear enough here, Black. Oh, you've been clear. But I refuse your offer, Howard. I'll not work for you. I'll never work for you. I'll not carry out this little plan of yours. I don't agree to any of it. I refuse. There's more. Clever boy, Black. You've got to believe me. I'm telling you, that's what happened. I promise, I'm not hiding anything. Surprising. And very foolish. However, I will allow you to work for me. Go on. I have a plan that I know will work. I have people in mind who I know will help. I don't want your money. I want your manpower and your resources. I'll be in charge and I'll take down Ramsey from the inside. In return, I'll get you Ramsey's Pandora tech. You do exactly as I say or there's no deal. So it was you. I trusted you, Black. I gave you work and paid you well. And this is how you repay me. After all we've been through together. Everything that happened to my family. To Grace. It was all because of you. My own employee. Well, you're not so imposing a figure now, are you, Mr. Black? Nothing but a vegetable in my basement. I could do whatever I want. And there would be nothing you could do about it. Well, fuck you, Black. Fuck you to hell. You were dead when you came in here, and there's no way I can let you go now. You were the architect of my downfall. Perhaps ending you is a mercy I will come to regret. I will find out in time. Goodbye, Cole Black. Doctor, I'm getting some very strange readings. Extreme caution advised. You never focused on what was important! Grace? Grace, is that you? I understand now. I understand everything. I know you're there. I know you're watching. You had it all backwards. I know. My child, I, I know I did. Grace, can you hear me? You had a family that loved you. Can you hear me? Let me know if you can hear me. How could you get it so wrong? Grace, shit. Grace, if you can hear me, I'm going to show you some things, okay? I'm going to show you how all this came to be. Your mother was right. This was all my fault, and I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Let me help you understand. I get it now. This is all because of you. Grace, please. You let us all down. I know. I was a fool. <laughs> oh.
This man by now, my love. He protected everything I'd worked to build. Did all the dirty work for me. But I made a terrible mistake. I know this will upset you, and I'm sorry. But your mother and I... We just grew apart. Rose understood what I was trying to accomplish with the Pandora in a way that nobody else could. And I did love her. But I never stopped loving you, Grace. I thought we could finish up a little early today. Go and grab a meal at that new Thai place. Let off a little steam. <laughs> what do you think? If this is going to work out between us, you need to understand that Lenore and Grace will always be part of my life. That's just something you need to accept. You either commit to something, or you end up with nothing. I couldn't commit to Rose, because I didn't want to abandon my family. And I couldn't commit to my family because I was too consumed by my work. And Rose was right. I ended up with nothing. I can't live like this any longer. With every day that passes, another little bit of me dies. I know you're too blind to see it, but you did this to her. I can't bear the sight of you, and I refuse to be your wife. I couldn't commit to her. Couldn't give her the love she deserved. But I refused to let her go. For you, Grace, my darling daughter, I loved you so much. Adult brains, I understand, but this, this is just incessant, incoherent gambling. What on earth is she doing? I just didn't understand what it meant to be a father. All right, you, come here. Although I have no idea what you're saying, and I can say with a reasonable degree of certainty that you have no idea what I'm saying, I got it wrong, Grace, and I'm sorry. Your mother once said I used you as an excuse to work. I don't know if she was right, but I know I wanted you to be cared for, and I know I wanted you. I wanted you to have a father you could be proud of. I'm sorry, I failed. Okay, Grace, it's time to finish the session. You've seen everything. Just give me a moment. <sighs> so we're Grace. Looks like we're in a wheelchair. There's Robert. Oh. Continue simulation or shut down simulation? Well, continuing it do. Is Grace missing a leg? So 
hard to tell with the blanket, but it kind of looks like she is. What if I continue? I, I don't understand. He, he was trying to communicate with me. You said he was dead. He is. All you're seeing is remnants of his consciousness. Created by the Pandora reacting to the artificial stimulants flooding his system. It's, it's complicated. I, I need to see what happened to him. It's, it's send me back in. Grace, it's not a nice thing for anyone to watch, let alone his daughter. Are you absolutely sure about this? He's my father. I want to know. I need to know. Howard. Ramsey. Just relax, okay? There's no need for the gun. Dad. You did this. You were responsible. Put the gun down. Responsible. Let's have a sensible, grown-up conversation. You approached my star. My employees. And you turned them against me. I think we both know that's not true. You took my daughter away from me. I did no such my thing. My family. Son of a bitch. My wife. Robert, you need to sit down. <laughs> Let me get you a drink. No! Responsible. Someone needs to pay for this. You've upset a lot of people, Robert. I'm not the only one with a score to settle. So, you admit it. I admit you stole my invention. You admit it. My life's work. Responsible. Claimed by a thief as his own. You did this. So yes, add me to the list of people you royally fucked off over the years, Ramsey. But I accept no responsibility for a mess you created. Dad, Dad, don't do it. Dad, Dad please don't do it. <laughs> no. You did this. And I think you already know that's true. Responsible. I didn't. Responsible. It wasn't me. It's okay. It wasn't me. Just give me the gun, and let's put all this behind us, okay? Responsible. Someone do needs to no, pay! No, 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 So, that's it. For all I know, the Pandora is just simulating my consciousness. I still don't fully understand it, even now. But I left it all to you, Grace. I learned from Howard's mistakes. I own the patent, and measures are in place to ensure they can't just replicate it. It needs to be in the hands of someone like you. Someone pure. I love you, my darling. And I'm sorry. <laughs> Talking to you, Grace. I, I, I'm fine, Mum. I'm, I'm thinking. Grace, listen to me. I've done everything you asked. 
All we need is for you to sign a few papers and we can continue where you're... Sweetie, you don't have to make this decision now. You're exhausted. Let's just head home, okay? Grace, talk to me. All you need to do is sign and we'll transfer the money within... You're a piece of work, you know that. Lenore, this is between me and Grace. This isn't anything to How do with you. How fucking dare you! Ugh. I'm in a room with my crippled daughter, my dead husband and my dead husband's whore! This is everything to do with me! Lenore, this is business. And from what I heard, your dead husband very nearly left you for that whore. You... Shut up! Shut up, both of you! Mum, I've got this. You put me in this wheelchair. You do realise that, don't you? Well, without you, my parents are still together and my father is still alive. Grace, what are you saying? Are you telling me she's responsible for all Grace, this? Grace, I don't know what you saw. You want her to sign those papers? <sighs> you want her to allow you to work with Robert's technology? Then you don't fucking grace her. To you, she is Miss Ramsey, and you don't speak unless you're spoken to first. Am I making myself clear? Yes. Perfectly clear. Perfectly clear, Miss Ramsey. How many functional headsets do we have? Fully functional. Only one, Miss Ramsey, your father. This one? That's right. No. No! No, Grace! And now you have none. <gasps> Do you have any idea what you've just done? This ends today. My father was a misguided man who didn't understand what he was dealing with. And I certainly can't trust you to do the right thing. Going to regret that. No, I won't. Nobody should be obsessing over things they can't change, shutting themselves off from the present. Memories belong in the past, and my father deserves to be dead. You're playing a very dangerous game, Grace. Threats? Oh, how very original of you, Rose. Well, what are you going to do? Kidnap me again? Strap another bomb to me? There is nothing you can threaten me with that's worse than what I've already been through. So fuck the headset, and especially fuck you! Let's go home, Mum. Of course. You haven't heard the last of this, Grace. It's Miss Ramsey, and yeah, I have. No, wait! Come back! Let's discuss this! No! There's nothing more to talk about. Grace! Goodbye, Rose. Goodbye... Dad. That was a super interesting game. I was expecting it to be pretty good, but I actually liked it even more than I thought. Pretty much everything that was sort of iffy about the game turned out to actually be not as big of a deal as I thought, or they put a nice twist on it, which just surprised me. Like the stealth, okay, the stealth isn't very good. The fact that you can't do any non-lethal takedowns is weird, um, but it wasn't that hard to get past those sections with stealth and they're fairly self-contained and pretty small and um, they weren't super frequent so I didn't find it to be that big of a frustration just an occasional frustration and other stuff they put really nice twists on it like the whole asylum thing had me kind of rolling my eyes you know an asylum in a video game kind of silly horror stuff and it was a bit silly but they actually put a pretty nice in-universe explanation for why that was there it was well, I guess Ramsey's head or Black's head? Actually, wait a minute. How come we had Cole Black's memories and Ramsey's memories? Uh, okay, I'm not going to think too much about it. <laughs> it was just uh, Cole Black or Ramsey's memories that were just... Their, their brain, basically, was filling in all the details in the asylum. They were just provided with the asylum itself empty, and their brain made all the associations with that asylum of, oh, this is a creepy place and there might be, you know bad people in here and all these strange things and it just kind of filled it in. Not that I think it totally excuses having an, a, yet another asylum in a video game, but it's a nice twist on it, so that impressed me. And there's also the fact that there's a scene set in a cemetery, which is also kind of a cliche, I guess not as much as an asylum, but even that had a really nice twist put on it, which I think was mainly that really cool pop music, which is totally bizarre, but really catchy, and I think that's actually my favorite sequence in the entire game still, even after having completed it. I thought it was super cool. And I thought the whole story was leading up to some kind of silly, you know, big reveal at the end. And I guess Grace being the one that's looking into Ramsey's mind is sort of a big reveal, but it didn't feel cheesy. 
I, I thought the writing was actually a lot better than I kind of expected it initially to be, based on how cheesy some of the things looked, but the writing's actually pretty damn good. And it's really helped by the fact that the voice acting is also extraordinarily good. The whole writing and the cast and everything was, I think, brilliant. Well, maybe brilliant's an overstatement, but it was really good. So just to compare it to my expectation going in, like I mentioned in the first episode, I was expecting something that's a lot more style over substance. And it certainly had really good style, let's just talk about that for a minute. It's gorgeous, it's a really good looking game. Um, I, I want to see if I can find information about the uh, the process of developing the, the graphics and the assets for this game, because I suspect they did a lot of, I think it's called photogrammetry, basically where you scan in actual real world objects. I know they made huge use of that in The Vanishing of Ethan Carter, which is the last game I can remember that had specifically tons of photogrammetry throughout the whole thing. And yeah, I'm pretty sure this game used that as well. A lot of things, there's a certain like photogrammetry look that's a little bit distinctive. I don't know what it is or how to describe it, um, but it looks really good. I think you can probably notice it most in the characters. I, I think they maybe didn't fully use scanned characters for the characters that moved, like the NPCs, I'm not sure if they were, or if they were, they were only maybe partially scanned and then some of it was just custom work, but um, I'm pretty sure everybody who was kind of in a, a fixed pose during those those visions, I don't want to call them cutscenes because you can move during them, but yeah, when you see those little like flashes of memories and characters appear, notice that they never actually moved, they were, they were static and just had that effect applied to them where kind of like fragmenting and then forming back together, which was super cool. But yeah, those versions of the people were super detailed and incredibly realistic looking, and I'm pretty sure they were scanned in from actual real people, which um, actually, yeah, now that I think about it, the credits mentioned a uh, makeup artist, and also there were actors for the characters, and then there was also voice actors for the characters. So I'm pretty sure like the physical actors were used for the scanning and for the, the posing of all those different scenes and they were scanned in all the different poses, wearing the different clothes and whatnot. And then voice actors were different people. So yeah, it was really interesting to see. It, it looks great. It's a really good looking game. And super stylish, the whole camera with all the different functions. And the corner gun is mostly useless since I didn't want to do combat, but still a really cool little tech toy peering around corners. And I thought the whole sound design was fantastic. Just the sound effects in general, but also I think specifically the music, I think is one of my favorite parts. Especially that one song in the cemetery. <laughs> but um, also just the music in general was really good. And they seem to have put a lot of work into making it fade in and out, depending on whether you're in combat and getting more and less intense, depending on how close you are to some sort of dramatic scene. And there's all this like really tight feeling kind of timing stuff where they made it fade out and in really seamlessly. And that was really impressive. And like I mentioned, the voice acting work was excellent. So some of the things I didn't like about Get Even, uh, it seems to be kind of at odds with itself. It's kind of inconsistent and almost like it's fighting with itself in some ways. One of the biggest ways is in stealth versus shooting people. The game obviously tries to like really tell you basically that stealth is the right way to do things, killing people is the wrong way to do things. But it does that very inconsistently and in a very weird way. At the very beginning of the game, for example, when you go into that hostage room with Grace, you have to kill those people. It, it forces you to kill those people. Then later it kind of chides you for for uh, killing people instead of using stealth. And even Ramsey sometimes will chide you for it. It's like, what, you, you know, barbaric and what, did you enjoy that? Kind of like chastising you for shooting people instead of using stealth. But at the same time, if you manage to 100% the memories, you get the passcode to the secret rooms. And I only got one of those, but I, I went into one of those rooms and it gave me a new toy, which was a new weapon to use. I think it was a sniper rifle. So like the game forces you to kill people at the beginning, but then other times chastises you for it and Ramsey chastises you for it. But Ramsey also rewards you with guns to kill people with, even though it seems like they want you to use stealth. It's like, what? It's really inconsistent. It's very strange. And I thought the game was maybe going to do some sort of a commentary on like the fetishization of guns because one of the central things that it's about is basically corporate espionage between two 
defense contractors or you know people that make guns and weapons and the fact that you get this rather cool toy that can look around corners but then it basically tells you hey this cool toy don't use it so i thought it was going to some sort of like commentary uh, on guns how you can you can use them because they're the easy way to solve things but the harder way is more rewarding but it doesn't really seem to do anything with that i was expecting it to do more with that i mean for christ's sakes was it, uh, I think it was ADS that made the Glock Tower? Like, they made a freaking building and named it after a gun. Like, that's just so excessive and ridiculous. And all the stuff they were doing, uh, you know, arguing that they're making the best guns and driving the, uh, the future of warfare is obviously bad things. Warfare is not good. Guns are not good. Guns are tools of killing and destruction. So I, I thought they were going to do more with that, but they really didn't do much of anything with it. That was a little bit strange and surprising. Also another way the game is at odds with itself is you're really highly encouraged multiple times to go back into old memories and try to 100% them and gather more clues. But the experience of actually going back into those memories and gathering more clues is horrible. It's the game tries to like push you into it and tell you, "Hey, you should, you know, maybe consider doing that. That might be something you want to do." But then if you actually do it, it's terrible. It's like the game punishes you for going back into memories. Because when you go back into a memory, you have to finish the entire thing before you can continue on with progressing through the game. Literally the entire thing. And some of these are pretty damn long. Some of these are a little bit shorter, like the first one you can run through in like a couple minutes at most. But some of them are very long, especially if you want to do them stealthy. And you have to do the whole thing. You can't even... I, I tried. You can't go to the part you want to do that might be halfway through and then come back to the whatever the basement place with all the pictures. You can come back there, but you can't actually progress to any other place until you finish that one memory. So it can take a very, very long time. It's unclear, even now having finished the game, it's unclear whether you can go back to a memory you've already done and avoid killing people, if that counts. You know, if I kill people once and then I go back into the memory and I don't kill them, does that count? Does that change history? Or can I only go back and do collectibles? I'm not really clear on on that at all. And uh, even collecting evidence, it doesn't seem to make any effort to indicate which pieces of evidence you have seen and which ones you haven't. You know, an entire section can be quite long, more than a half hour if you're doing it stealthy. And there can be dozens of pieces of evidence, and there's no like... It's not like the pieces that you've already read are just non-existent in the world or anything like that. Every single piece is there. So it's really hard to tell what is a new piece of evidence and what is something you've already read. It's just, it's a really terrible experience to redo memories, which is why I almost entirely avoided it. Oh yeah, and I think I was talking about my expectations about Get Even, the style over substance thing. Well, I forgot to mention the substance. Let's talk about that and end on that note. So the substance is a lot stronger than I thought. I guess it is maybe a little bit style over substance, but honestly, it's a pretty meaty game. The writing's better than I thought. It's more intriguing than I thought. It's... Yeah, um, I come away from Get Even feeling a lot more excited and intrigued by it than I thought. Usually games that are style over substance are, you know, they're pretty pretty to look at, and I feel like eh, I had a decent time playing them, but they're really quickly forgotten, and I don't, I don't remember them for very long. They're not very memorable, but I'll be damned if Get Even wasn't actually really memorable. Yeah, I come away from it being much more impressed with it and surprised and, and happy with it than I thought. So that has been Get Even. I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.